VST Rack is a software collaboration between Yamaha and Steinberg to provide a VST plugin environment suitable for use at live events and real time performances. Now, version 2 is here. Let's talk about why you should upgrade and how to do it. As a reminder, there are two types of VST Rack, Pro and Element. VST Rack Pro is included with the neat little RUIO 16D, the portable Dante USB and analog audio interface. While VST Rack Elements is included with DM3 and DM7 series digital mixing consoles. VST Rack Pro version 2 now includes 41 plugins from Steinberg and Yamaha including eight new ones. VST Rack Elements version 2 includes six plugins from Steinberg and an additional one from Yamaha. You know, it comes with the digital mixers, which already have a lot of great processes and effects inside them, so there is less requirement for additional processing outboard. But remember, any VST3 plugins from other sources will run in VST Rack. VST Rack Pro, supplied with the RUIO 16D audio interface, originally used an e licensor which was either stored on a specific computer or on a USB dongle. However, this service is closing in May 2025. So, there are only a few months remaining to upgrade to version 2 and transfer the newer and more flexible Steinberg licensing service. This makes it easier to manage and transfer licenses online when you change computers. In fact, it will allow each account to activate the software on up to three computers, though you can only run it on one at a time. VST Rack Elements, bundled with DM3 and DM7 series, already uses the newer Steinberg licensing, so upgrading to version 2 will be easy for them, while owners of VST Rack Pro will need to transfer their license before they can upgrade from version 1 to version 2. If that's you, follow these six steps with me. Firstly, Check that your license for VST Rack Pro is showing correctly in the eLicenser control center. It should be shown as a soft eLicenser bound to your hard drive. Or you might have transferred it to a USB eLicenser like I did. Second, make sure the Steinberg Download Assistant is installed on your computer. You would have used this previously for installing VST Rack. If you need to download it again, go to steinberg.net forward slash go. Go to the Steinberg website anyway and log into your My Steinberg account, which you would have used to register your copy of VST Rack Pro. Look at your products and show e-licensor based products. You should see VST Rack Pro listed in the hardware section with the item it was supplied with. However, look in the software list and if it's not shown, you will need to register it. This is step three. Return to the e-licensor control center and open the registration menu. Highlight the e-licenser which contains the VST Rack Pro license and click register at my Steinberg. Click OK for the online registration. This will return you to the Steinberg website where you can complete the registration. You'll then notice the e-licenser is listed in my products and the software list 
will include your VST Rack Pro license. Now the registration is complete, we can move to step four. Return to your My Steinberg profile and you should see vouchers listed on the left. If you've only just registered, you may need to wait a few minutes before it shows. Then you should see update to VST Rack version 2 with Steinberg licensing. Click on redeem, copy the code and return to the Steinberg download assistant. Step 5. Click enter your download access code at the top left of the window and paste the code. Then you will be given a new code for the license activation of VST Rack Pro 2. Click upgrade and the e-licensor control center will need to be closed, then it will reopen. Click continue to upgrade and select the license you want to upgrade from the list. Now that's done, we can take the final step six. Open the My Product Downloads from the left column and download VST Rack Pro V2 from the link on the right. Install the software and launch it. Click on Sign In when asked to activate the license within the Steinberg Activation Manager. And you're all set with version 2, ready to go. Remember that you can activate it on up to three computers, though you can only run the software on one at a time. You can keep track of the activations in your Steinberg account. Look at the Steinberg licensing-based products. Once you reach the limit of three, you need to deactivate the software on one computer before activating it on another by using the Steinberg Activation Manager. Enjoy VST Rack Pro V2 with its additional Yamaha and Steinberg plugins. Watch my other video to get a flavor of what they can do to improve your sound and increase your creativity. Bye for now.